Well, good morning YouTube. We've actually got a nice sunny day for once. Uh, sun's out, nice and bright, really warm in here, which is good. Uh, I might not be able to see it, but we're up at 30 degrees or 80, ooh, 86, 88 Fahrenheit. Um, I've had what little, a few seedlings I planted I've had uh, on the bubble wrap because it's been so cold. We've actually got two, oh, are we? two little seedlings come up. These are the, uh, the Gardener's Delight tomatoes. And the Cherry Cascade has not come up. Um, by the looks of it, the, the, I think fennel has survived the, the winter in the greenhouse. Um, and uh, nothing else has come up, not really worth mentioning. But what I am going to do today is uh, be planting um, in a sea tray. Uh, sun's too bright, can't see it. i put you in my shadow. Sugar beet. Or whatever the uh, Latin name is there. Yeah, 250 sugar beet seeds. If, if you don't know what sugar beet is, it's, uh, it's like a large turnip. Uh, it's full of sugar. Um, the reason I'm going to try this this year because uh, these can grow in our climate. Um, possibly uh, refine the uh, sugar beet down to uh, like a sugar water for, for brewing. Um, uh, or possibly make molasses. Now that's something I'm interested in making a molasses or, or like a even, even a sugar type solution. And uh, see how it goes. Anyway, this is one of my one of my only obscure seeds that I'm growing this year um, and we'll see how it goes anyway I'm just going to set this up and we'll plant some of these right we've got our simple propagator tray and so this is going to be a greenhouse in a greenhouse with our seed tray and drip tray I'm just going to pop this down and fill this up that's to one side this is a bit Can't see the screen on this, so I don't know if you're in shot. Right. Right, so I'm just gonna fill this up loosely. This is quite clumpy, so Just that right. Right, with that almost done. Get our sugar meat seeds. So many we've got 10, 20, 30, 40, so let's just, just dump a load into there. I'm going to try and show you the seeds now there. They kind of resemble um, kind of like other beet seeds, beetroot seeds and things like that. So they are definitely recognisable as a beet. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pop one of these in each. So just do the first two and then uh, speed you up a bit I think. Uh, these don't like being uh, transplanted from what I've heard, but obviously can but try. Uh, and certainly with this uh, warm weather, we should be uh, laughing. Right. Once that's done, just simply plug them underneath the top of the soil with a, with a pencil. Right. 
And there we have it. Just gonna give them some juice. And stick the lid on. Whoops. So I'll be back with an update once these uh, sprout. And uh, maybe if the weather warms up we get some more seeds in. So that's it. Until the next time. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, comment and rate. And I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.